some words of advice that have long stayed with me are these words from Hamlet by Shakespeare. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the day, the night, thou canst not then be false to any man. When I recall these words, they remind me to always be honest with myself, even when the truth is unpleasant. In these past few days, I've had to be honest with myself about an unpleasant truth, that I have been contributing to the appearance of corruption in Jefferson City by renting a room from my friend of 20 years, Richard McIntosh, a lobbyist. To be clear, I have paid Richard for the room with my own funds, not with legislative favors. And Richard has disclosed the arrangement as required by law. But when people look to their state capital, they would rather not see legislators renting rooms from lobbyists. It makes them think those lobbyists might somehow be enjoying undue influence. For that reason, I've decided to stop renting from Richard and find someplace else to spend my nights in Jefferson City. I've already told Richard, and I'll be staying at a hotel tonight. It's unpleasant for me, but I have to be honest with myself about the truth. And now I must raise another unpleasant truth. Much of what happens here in Jeff City contributes to the appearance of corruption. Now, I don't mean to say that the people here are corrupt or unethical. In fact, I think the opposite is almost always true. What are corrupt are the incentives that we face and some of the exchanges in which we take part. Those things corrupt our judgment. They corrupt the laws we make and they cause people to lose faith in the process. Take some examples. In 2016, we legislators accepted over $450,000 in personal gifts from lobbyists. Averaged out, that's about $2,300 per legislator. And in only one year. Now, if me just renting a room from a lobbyist created the appearance of corruption, and as I've acknowledged, it did, then what of this? Here we're talking about actual gifts, not renting something and paying for it. And gifts demand reciprocity. The drive to reciprocate is a fundamental human drive and one to which we in the legislature are not immune. The people of Missouri know that. They know there's no such thing as a free lunch. So when we take free lunches from lobbyists, not to mention larger gifts, it undermines the people's trust in what we do. Governor, you've said that we in this chamber are corrupt. By having your senior advisor make much of my simply renting a room from Richard McIntosh, you've said that I am corrupt. Well, Governor, don't ignore the log in your eye when you see the speck in mine. I'm removing the speck. I'm moving out of the room I've rented from Richard McIntosh. Now you remove the log. Disband the nonprofit that you've set up to launder your secret contributions.